All right, we're gonna do an abstract uh, series of paintings today um, in architectural abstraction style. And it'll be series uh, number three out of the four paintings. So the question today is, what is a death mask? <laughs> All right, let's run through the colors. Mars black, titanium white, phthalo blue, red oxide, phthalo green, queen red, pearly red dark. Let's get the party started. <laughs> dark uh, pearly red and now we're gonna add some blue in there I think it's available but yeah it'll be a nice fire on top of the red um, it's cut back with the gloss so it gives a much more see-through appearance <laughs> up so when we add further layer you're gonna have some nice pure color coming through. Alright we just finished out a little bit of detailing with the white um, which followed the blue and originally the red. Um, so now what we're going to do is bring in a nice iron oxide and fill in some of these wider areas. <laughs> iron oxide um, it's pulling off some paint so that's kind of the problem with masking tape sometimes but you want a kind of a nice stick uh, the black tape works the best but I haven't seen it in a bigger form um, so right now we're gonna add kind of a contrasting color to the purple and the green we're gonna have a light green and that'll work against the orange as well as the purple for contrast so we'll see where that goes <laughs> of the day was what is a death mask so before there was photography people would either do paintings of themselves or <coughs> um, sculptures of themselves right if they were rich enough to afford it and so this was really how they kind of recorded their um, you know their their look and ins you know and to show off to their relatives and all that and so a death mask was for the really rich would think they're so important that they would put a clay mask right when they died over them pull it off and they would have the actual appearance of how the person looked on their day of their dead so you know there's pretty famous death masks like napoleon um and probably other leaders um they probably did lenin or stalin right i mean those guys were in mausoleums but <laughs> it's basically the kind of this grisly continuation of the person's thing and when photography came out, they transitioned from the death mask to the death photos. So when they first came out, people would actually take, like say their kids would die in infancy, infancy which is terrible, but then they would take pictures of them dead laying in their cot. It's like, dude, what the hell's that about, right? 
But yeah, that was kind of the same continuation and you had this strange, right when photography just came out, of people taking photos of people dead. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we added that nice green, the last layer, light green. Um, that contrasts nicely with the purples, makes it really stand out. You can see there, and the dark greens, it really makes them pop. And I really like this blue to green. Um, overall, I think it has pretty good composition, good balance. There's a lot more bigger shapes at the bottom of the painting. So, you know, overall, I think that's balanced. There could be something more in the corner there, but you know, it's sometimes nice to have kind of that nice spot. Um, there are a few spots where the blue and the red kind of flaked off due to the, the paint. It's real. I mean, the tape is very aggressive. So I'll probably fill those in and then that'll be finished. So hopefully you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below and I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching guys.